Hello, Tamarisk families. This is Mrs. Hethcote. So I've had some questions about logging into Google Classroom from home. People are asking for their codes again. You shouldn't need your code. It's usually a different problem. So let me show you how it looks. So let's say you're on your computer or your device at home and you go ahead and try to find Google Classroom and it's not even at the top where it normally is, but you come down, you search, you find it, but then there are no classes. So you're like, Miss Hethcote, I need the plus sign, I need the code to join the class. So that's not the actual problem. The problem is that you're not logged in as you, you're logged in as someone else. So you can see that here I'm logged in as my personal account. I need to be logged in as my school account. When I log in as my school account, then all of my Google Classrooms will come up. And then I can look at my waffle, Google Classrooms where I like it. If I click on a class, then all of my stuff is there, it works great. So if you have multiple children or multiple people using a computer or a device that have Google accounts, you may have to add another account so that you can get all of the people on it at the same time. So if you're logging in from home, it's a little different than at the computers at home. You have to put in your uh, student ID number, which is usually a 1000 number. It might have um, a nine instead or something. If you need help with your number or your password, you'll need to contact your teacher for that. But then the trick is you have to also put at Palmdale SD, like school district, dot org. And that's what's going to then get you into your school account. Be really careful. We spell this wrong all the time. So you have to double check your spelling. When you click next, it'll ask you for your password and then you should be in. All right. I hope this helps.